All right, time to make the descent down. Off camera, I spent maybe 15 minutes or so here at the top, just, you know, thinking. And uh, it's a great place to do some deep thinking over here. People don't realize that. On top of a mountainside, hillside, hilltop, you know, you just think about life in general, the land, all the memories, regrets, dumb decisions in your life, good decisions in your life. But uh, yeah, nonetheless, you think about life and uh, here, I'm trying to figure out where I used to live. Because I know I lived down there. But it's probably covered, so... I won't be able to see my old house. But I know it's down there. Somewhere down there. Somewhere down there. <laughs> if I'm being realistic. But yeah, let's go make our descent down. I don't want to be here too long. I'm gonna head that way and uh, see what happens. You know, cause uh, the way we came up here was way off course. I know we were behind the hill, behind Dictionary Hill. We were never in the front. But this is part four, because I wanted to make it a four part series. At first I thought it was gonna be a, just a one video, but behind the scenes look and me rambling on, definitely a four part series here. So, uh, let me check my map, and we'll get back to you. Okay. Okay, so, top of Dictionary Hill. We can either go that way, or we can go this way. I'm thinking going this way, and uh, cut through some neighborhoods, and then we'll make it to my car. Because if I go that way, it might take me somewhere else. But this might take me somewhere else either, so... As long as I go... You know, behind the hill... We might be able to get back... Even if it's a long cut. We should get back, even though it's a long cut. Versus going, you know... In the front of Dictionary Hill. Where... What you predominantly see... When going over here. So... Let's go down here. And, uh, get lost again. <laughs> Which is the fun part. I guess the, the great part is getting lost and then finding your way back. You know, that's the challenge. That's the, uh, that's, that's the part of, that's the part of life. You know, you get lost and, you know, you find your way back. And the journey is all about finding your way back. And when you get to finding your way back, and you know where you are. That's an accomplishment in itself. So, again, part four. Another part of Dictionary Hill behind the scenes here. So, here's another side of Spring Valley. And of course, Mount Helix in the distance. And, uh, Coles Mountain. Yeah, another part of Dictionary Hill here. This is, we are looking at the, uh, what is this? North part, heading north part of Dictionary, down Dictionary Hill. So, thank, thankfully to Google Earth. For uh, 
showcasing every aspect and every part of Dictionary Hill technology because you know back in the day when people would just climb up here they didn't have Google Earth to show them where to go so I'm showing you right now some of the uh, behind the scenes that goes around when uh, climbing up Dictionary Hill and we're making our descent down and oh, it's a great time coming up here is always a great time because you know you get natural high off the land you think about life you think about nature you think about how this hill came to be and uh, for the I don't know. I mean, a lot of it's man-made. Some of it's man-made. Some of it is just how the earth formed to be. A lot of it, I should say. And, you know, mankind has built its way around it. Built houses here within the last hundred years or so. Because I've seen the old picture. I've seen the famous picture of Spring Valley. And you can see Dictionary Hill before it was even called Dictionary Hill. And before there was houses surrounding it. And a lot of these houses were built in the... I want to say the 50s or 60s or something. I could be wrong. Chime in in the comment section below. If I am wrong. But, you know, they were built some time ago. They were never always here. And uh, that's what I'm that's what I'm talking about. So, so I'm sure there's some sort of way to get to my old house down there from here, but we're not about to do that. We need to at least try to head somewhere over there to get back to my vehicle. And again, several different entrances or exits to and from Dictionary Hill. As you can see, this is the long cut. This is the hike. Right there, it says to the summit. There's several different signs pointing you to the right direction. So obviously, if you go straight up and you know your direction, you know way up. You can never get lost I'm trying to get to the top because there are several different uh, pathways, trails, that lead to the top. And there's plenty of ways to get to Dictionary Hill from, not the bottom, but close to the top. So, you get a good experience overall. You get a good experience climbing up here Dictionary Hill. We're going the opposite direction, so I'm gonna try to see if we can try to steer a little bit east when we get down here. But so far we're heading north or northwest a little bit. But this is another entrance or exit to and from Dictionary Hill. So, just goes to show you people from all walks of life and many different nationalities, races, and, uh, you know, different backgrounds can uh, come together and climb up to this one Dictionary Hill. And that's what these, uh, for me, that's what these uh, many different entrances and exits are, you know. You might be coming from one way, some other person might be coming from another way, but in the end goal, we get to the top. 
and that's the commonality. That's uh, that's one thing we all have in common is we all come to the top and we experience things the same. You might be from different backgrounds and stuff like that, but the event is the same and uh, we're all the same. We're all one. And that's what I get out of Dictionary Hill. You know? I might be talking somewhat spiritual and philosophical. You know, I might be rambling on just to, <laughs> to a lot of you people. But that's just me having in a couple of drinks and talking. Which I don't recommend. You know, don't drink on Dictionary Hill, but then again, who hasn't? You know? You drink and, uh, you know, bring a backpack to make you your best. And so, yeah. There's a fork in the road. We don't want to go left because that's not where we're headed. If you live in that area, you can go left and uh, yeah. This is the South Florida Walk. You can see the top right there. We're gonna make a right because that's leaning more towards where I parked my vehicle. And as long as we get lost over there, you know, at least we're getting lost close to my vehicle, not getting lost away from my vehicle. So, if my route and my judgment is correct, if we go down here, we only have to cut through a few streets and uh, make it through my vehicle. But, uh, you know, obviously be careful where you step here because there's a lot of rocks. And uh, it's it definitely if you're not used to this kind of hike and these these kind of climbs, uh, this this kind of climb, uh, you can definitely uh, it's an ankle biter, it's an ankle twister. So have good ankles, have good feet, put on some good shoes first of all. You got hiking boots, you got uh, running shoes, tennis shoes, fine. But, you know, put some good padding in it. I have some Dr. Scholl's in here. And, uh, they're the memory foam, but at first memory foam was good, but after a few, couple hundred, I don't even know, maybe a hundred miles of memory foam, uh, starts to wear off. So, we have a couple of different options here. Let me see what's over here. Uh, I don't know if we should go down there. We might be able to go down there. But uh, let me get back to you. So I've decided to... I don't know if that's even a path. <laughs> you know what? Let's not stay off course here. Whatever happened, come down this way. You know, there's uh, one of the water towers here. That, uh, that is behind Dictionary Hill. So, uh, my vehicle, somewhere that way so we can go that way and we'll probably end up in some other neighborhoods give you a reference of how far we walk from the top uh, see there's all these signs about dictionary hill from all directions and uh 
you know, telling you what you can't do mostly. And uh, let's just take a look here for all you first timers. Dictionary Hero, Dictionary Hill, open, open space preserve. So, uh, you know, no littering. All dogs must be in a leash. Smoking prohibited. No fires. It doesn't say no fires, but that's without. That goes without saying. But as far as camping up here, I don't know. So again, check out the uh, County of San Diego Parks and Recreation website to know more about it. Let's continue walking. Yeah, to know more if you can park, uh, if you can camp here. That I don't know, so don't, don't come up here thinking you can go camping because I told you so, but I didn't tell you so. There's the water tower, and uh, I think we're going the right way. I think there's a street up there called La Mesa Court. And if we get onto that street and uh, make a few twists and turns, we'll make it back. But this is the uh, long cut, the behind the scenes, you know, way at Dictionary Hill. There's a Mount Helix or Spring Valley or whatever county official so yeah definitely open to the public and uh yeah just watch your step here Trying to step on any dirt or mud or water, which I'm already doing. <laughs> but you know, there was rain, so of course there's like mud and stuff. So now, let me get back to you again. All right, my source is telling me I should go this way. But, uh, the whole point is to get back to my vehicle and not get lost. But, uh, I don't know. Should I go this way? Looks like it's going up. Maybe I should go that way. So, uh, that looks like it's going up. But, you know, getting lost, it's all about the journey. It's all part of the journey. As long as you make your way down, you can always find your way. So, came from there, and there's a county official, park official, probably looking at me weird, but I don't care. Here we are coming down, coming down. So far not too bad, but again, a little bit difficult on the uh, feet and ankles and stuff. So, yeah, I think this is the, the right way. I'm hoping it's the right way. As long as I go down and not up, 
we should be all right. As long as I get to, I think I see a street right there. As long as I get there, then I should be good. And uh, maybe that's the route I should have taken. Taken, because, like I said, a hundred times already. There's many ways to get to the top here. There's a surefire way, an easy way. And there's, you know, the scenic route. I like to call it the scenic route because you see a lot of scenery. You see a lot of habitat, wildlife. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of ranches here, a lot of open space, you know, somebody's backyard right there with some oranges growing on, you know. And at, and at nighttime, there's definitely coyotes and mountain lions for sure. And rattlesnakes in the uh, summertime. So, I think we're on the right path. So as long as I get to, through that neighborhood, I can uh, navigate. But that's how far we are. we were from the top. We've already made our descent and uh, this is great. This is another great experience because the first time coming up here or the last video coming up here, it wasn't my goal to see how I can get up to the top the quickest or the easiest. It just happened that way. And uh, that way was the easiest getting to the top because most of the climb on the last video was coming up those hills on your on your vehicle, on my vehicle. And here, we did a, little, a lot more walking than uh, than I would have had anticipated. But you know, a good hike, a good walk, a good climb. My heart rate is good. Not nearly as cooking or as dangerous as it was before. Climbing up that hill, that street. That, that was a climb in itself. I think that was the most challenging one out of, out of the whole four part series video here. I mean, climbing up here no problem, but that one was just straight up. You gotta have the legs and knees to climb up that. No baby legs climbing up that, walking up that uh, that street, that hill. But some more gorgeous scenery here on the side of Dictionary Hill. Like I said, Dictionary Hill, there's the main part, the one that you always see. But there's all there's a couple other connected hills with it that go along with it that's part of it that you don't see and that's what this uh partly that's what this series is about it's about seeing other parts of dictionary hill that you don't normally see and uh that's what i'm here to document See, look at all these man-made trails. And uh, over there is where we started out at, I believe. And uh, you can see where the part of the hill is cut. But yeah, for, for most people who live here in Spring Valley and who are a part of Dictionary Hill, who live around Dictionary Hill, you can easily access the hill. It's definitely a climb. It's definitely a hike. It's not for the faint of heart, for sure. But if you have the willingness, you have the drive, you bring plenty of waters, you bring suntown lotion, you bring all that good stuff, you'll be all right. You know? So, almost there. 
as soon as I can get to that street where that house is, we might be able to find, might be able to cut through, through there and uh, make some zigzag turns and make it back to where I parked. And that's uh, South Barcelona Street. So, no, t you know, I totally went the uh, long way, but no, we had a good time. This video was supposed to go in one direction, but it ended up being in multiple directions. And uh, I'm cool with that too, I'm fine with that. Became a four-parter instead of a one one video so you can continue there um, that's another that's another story for another day I think I've covered a lot of Dictionary Hill and uh, its surrounding areas and the people and the habitat and uh, you know wildlife that, 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 that lives around here and uh there's the water tower up there. There's the other water tower. And then there's the top. And you know, just goes to show you there's, there's a little wooden plank here so you can kind of balance your way across. But it just goes to show you a kind of good natured and well mannered people and habitat that are around here in Spring Valley and I think that's what draws me towards uh, Dictionary Hill and Spring Valley is uh, the kind of vibe I get here it's definitely an older community there's definitely a lot of older folks here you know there's definitely there's definitely newer generations here as well older folks than me and and I've been from Spring Valley since the early 90s, maybe the late 80s even. The late, late, late 80s. And you know, like, like I've explained in the earlier parts of the other first video or the second video, you know, the 125 wasn't even built and uh, 125 freeway and then there was just so much more breath and so much more life when you know there's no freeways and there's a little bit of houses but you know as time progresses and time marches on as with any place things change people change people move on attitudes change and uh one thing that doesn't change is the scenery here. So there's plenty of houses here being built in the last 50 or 60 years or so. I want to say 60 years because a lot of these houses have been here for a while, as long as I can remember. And as long as I can remember was only the early 90s, you know? So, that's crazy. So we're here. I'm hoping this is La Mesa Court. The street that we need to be on. But I think that's... That's gonna do it for this video. Because other than that... It's just... Some neighborhoods back. But there you have it, behind the scenes... Of Dictionary Hill. There are so many walks of life. So many angles where you can enter and get to the top, you know. A lot of places, there's only one way. Here, there's many different ways, many different ways, and it goes to show you that no matter where you are in life, no matter what, you know, who you are, what you do, you can always come to the top of Dictionary Hill and experience the glory from any different angle, any different road, any different walks of life. Walk of life. And uh, 
that's gonna do it for this video you know comment like subscribe let me know what you think watch all four parts hear me ramble on you know watch it you know listen to it because it might give you deep insight you might think i'm rambling on but there's some truth and there's some lessons and there's some philosophies and all kinds of things behind behind it all and that's what this whole series is about it's behind the scenes of dictionary hill and behind the scenes of your life that may not you may not see you know first and foremost but for everybody there's behind the scenes parts of their life that we all must go through and uh, that we all must experience and you know it ain't all fun and games like people would expect but as long as there's some trials and tribulations and roads in your life that you have to go through that may be a struggle then there will be the fun and games then there will be the laughter you know just uh Go through it. Uh, there's no straight path in life. There's many different roads and that you may have to take many different hikes to get to the top. And once you get to the top and you feel it and you get back down, that's an accomplishment in itself. So that's all I have to say. Uh, let me know. If you've been to been to the top of Dictionary Hill and how it's uh, affected you, because it's affected me right now in many different ways, and I'm here towards the end, and uh, it's already life changing. So that's all I have to say. Comment. Let me know in the comments. Again, I'll throw a link in the description on where. You can access this part of Dictionary Hill. Don't make a left. Uh, maybe make a right when it's not raining and there's no mud puddles. And then you'll have a somewhat of a hike. Not a really long hike where you went around like me. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next video.